Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing video and today I'm going to be sharing with you some crafty goodies that I got so hopefully you're going to enjoy um, this video and thank you for watching in advance and I will start my video sharing this beautiful wax seal making kit uh, this was a gift from my mom-in-law and thank you so much mom I didn't have it before but I was always um, looking to get one and she got it for me so this is a beautiful beautiful kit you get a little pin um, a candle wax melts all different colors and of course I'm gonna be buying some more different colors and then your spoon your handle and we have a tree a little flower some sprigs sorry for dazzling you and also a heart and I already been uh, looking for some Christmas uh, wax seal heads uh, which there are plenty out there and they all are beautiful so I'm gonna be getting some Christmas ones so this was the box seal making kit I'm really looking forward to using this one and moving forward uh, got this beautiful Prima molds and I'm sure many of you are familiar with these ones and some of them I already used and I will show you in a bit all these beautiful beautiful molds some of them are older some of them are more recent ones love these pocket watches plenty to choose from a lot of detail in every single mold as you always get with Prima molds so these ones I have been using and I got hearty soft air drying clay and I've never used it before but I have to say I absolutely love it and these are just some pieces I've made using this clay here it is easy to work with uh, beautiful frame look at the detail you get all the detail and it's extremely lightweight compared to something like this that's it's more heavier and this one I have used this dust clay on this piece here so I'm still gonna be using I'm not saying oh I'm not gonna be using anything but this one I'm still gonna be using this clay for some uh, larger pieces if I'm doing something big um, so but I absolutely love this clay it's so easy to work with it it's unbelievable it's a pure joy to work with this clay uh, also I wanted to say a massive thank you to my friend Helen thank you Helen um, for making these two mold impressions for me and sending it to me so the story goes um, I really these are Zuri molds and I really really love this mold 
comes in one mold, uh, both these pieces, and I couldn't get it nowhere. Absolutely, I've looked everywhere, couldn't get it anywhere. So Helen kindly made it for me and sent it to me. So thank you so much, Helen. And I will be using these. And Helen also used this hard soft clay to make these. But since, since, because that was, I think maybe a couple of months ago now, since I have managed to get this mold. Absolutely love it. I couldn't believe that I actually managed to find it and get it. So I'm extremely happy for that. And thank you so much, Helen. So also I wanted to show you one of these oldest molds. This one, uh, Roman numerals. And this is beautiful, beautiful mold. And um, I'm thinking to make something maybe like a clock using these ones. We will see. But I thought I will show you. This is one of my favorites as well. So, as you can see, I already have been using this hard to soft clay. And I keep it in airtight container in a bag all wrapped up you don't want it to dry okay so you have to make sure you keep it in the bag in the airtight container then it's gonna last you a long time also next i will show you i've been doing some Christmas stuff and making some beautiful baubles so I got some fillable uh, baubles for that couple more packs it looks like I'm hooked on making them now so a uh, couple of more packs of those um, now talking about team holes beautiful latest edition lumberjack plant so i got distress ink distress spray stain and uh, distress oxide oxide spray and what i usually get is distress ink refill and distress oxide refill okay this is a beautiful beautiful color if you haven't got it yet get it because that's a beautiful beautiful red color called lumberjack plaid now talking about tin holes um, got some alphabet dies so you can't have too many alphabet dies that's for sure and this is how i store mine these are just pockets a5 pockets and I basically put the sheet on the front and then I glue magnetic sheet on the piece of card and I store all my dies like so I cut this bit where the holes are to put them in however uh, if you don't want to do that because mine are stored in an open storage um, box and if you don't want to do that you always can store them in folder and leave this bit on so I got this alphabet die set this one this one is really nice it's really tall it's different a uh, shady one okay and numbers so numbers put this aside also um my lovely husband got me these pencils the whole set 
um, so I was absolutely over the moon with that um, so these are three sets of distress watercolor pencils from Tim Holtz I'm really looking forward uh, using those also some AOL and Create stamps and I thought I will be really enjoying coloring those with these pencils so really looking forward to using these ones in our journals so these are really nice and I really hope um, he's gonna bring the team is gonna bring the rest of the colors in these distress watercolor pencils they are absolutely fabulous from what I've seen so far they are amazing so this is that put this on the side for now uh, next I just got topped up on my distress oxides because I don't have them all yet I think I'm about five or six short now from the whole set so I got some more distress oxides and you can get distress oxides and distress inks they always have them in stock at Honeypot Crafts Co UK so they have all the colors in there so I stocked up on those I also really wanted when I thought um, about making baubles I really wanted to get some sort of crackle paint or crackle paste or um, crackle something and I thought I'm gonna try this Ranger crackle paint and it's translucent so I'm gonna have a look uh, whether this one is gonna be any good for the projects I'm intending to do so that's that distress oxides uh, I also did get this uh, glass mat Tim Holtz glass mat I'm super happy with it and I've been working on it already with all different mediums it's easy to clean it and you get this additional mat and I got a spare one I also missed out on Tim Holtz media grip mat uh, when it was out back in March, I believe completely missed out on those and um, it's good for putting it down putting your inks on and it wouldn't move around also good for many other things but you're gonna have to watch Tim's uh, video on media grid mat many other things you can do with this mat so uh, I got myself two of those finally finally got notification that it's back in stock so I ran and I got two of those the next thing I couldn't resist but I will move this one aside for now but to get some more Stamperia art journals okay these are fabulous so I will be using those as well you can't have too many journals also um, Vicky Papayono latest collection these two stamps stamp sets and 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 beautiful stencils three of those so looking forward using all those and put this aside 
I also got some volume paste just because I heard some good things about it and it's drying really fast so looking forward to using these ones as well and I thought I will try something that I haven't tried before which is ceramic powder this is Stamperia's product as well I have no idea how to use it obviously you mix it with the water and I think everything what you have to know what you need to know is written on here with a small print which I'm gonna be reading before I'm gonna be using I'm sure I don't have to dilute the whole 400 grams of powder uh, but I'm looking forward to using this in molds so I got three tubs of that so let me let me know if you've used this ceramic powder and whether you like it or not and what are your thoughts on it I would like to know so leave a comment below and of course classic Christmas classic Christmas um, this one happens to be Sigurd by six and I absolutely love Stamperia paper so I will be doing some flip through of this one and 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 that is it from me for now so I really hope you're all gonna have a lovely holiday season I wish you all the best for Christmas and New Year enjoy your time Bye.